Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. I guess this round table thing has legs and it's still going to keep walking. I didn't. Did you watch the actual round table later? Or did yeah, you... I did. I watched the whole thing. So I know that uh, Yankee Marshall is apparently very pissed off and right. now he wants to copulate with everyone, apparently. <laughs> He's using you, bad words. If you look at his video, yeah, you know, I mean, that's the thing that I think. Um, and of course, you guys can let me know, like, let me know if you actually watched the roundtable thing. Because if you didn't and you're just taking whatever Yankee Marshall is saying for facts, then that's probably the beginning of your problems right there. I'm not trying to challenge Yankee Marshall in any way, but everyone has their own perspective on everything. Right, right. So make sure before you get all crazy and you start um, abandoning gun guys who've been out there working for you for a long time and doing a lot of stuff for you, that you actually look at what they had to say before you just take whatever Yankee yeah. Marshall has to say about it. Yeah, everybody's got a different, I guess we'll say, way of looking at things, or maybe it affects them differently, or. Yeah. But I think also, you, sh you know, I mean, I don't know how closely Yankee Marshall paid attention to it. I don't know what, you know, every like we all have our own perspective, right? right? We're all seeing things through our own lens. And our lens is not exactly the same as other people. And, you know, some people don't have a, a, an exactly um, clear lens, <laughs> if I could put it that way, on things. I know that I watched that video, and obviously there are things in that video that I did not agree with. That's why I'm tell I'm I'm titling this video. Um, uh oh, we got Babyface just. Who's that? Out. Babyface man. What's up, Babyface? I I need to see a video of that thing in action. Do you have one up yet? YouTube. Oh, you're, you're jumping on here because of the gun, huh? That's I just saw it. I was I was looking at it live, and I was like, mm, I gotta see that. Oh. See this. So, hey. Uh, there go. Also, I think I'm gonna come out to my dad's. I'm gonna bring the barbecue grill and cook some hamburgers too. So. Oh, there, won't, there won't be no starvation at lunchtime. Yeah, make sure you bring lots of ice and drinks. Well, duh. Uh, Hank, are we, did you guys want to go out there? Uh, yes, yes, we will do Just, that. Okay, but right. you know, okay, we'll I mean, talk about that later. yeah, right now we're okay. talking about the whole roundtable thing. Do you so, yeah, what did I miss? To, do you have anything to say on that? Well, so uh, so neither one of you watched the roundtable, and, and I know that there's lots of people that have been getting in touch with me and probably folks in here that want to talk about this whole thing that went down. I watched it from my perspective. Like I said, there's stuff on there that I didn't agree with. Uh, what um, round table? There was a, a, so the gun collective had a round table hangout video that he did. And I think the whole, the whole bottom screen was filled up with people. So Jesus. Um, from my recollection, it was like uh, military arms channel, Mr. Guns and gear, the Iraq veteran guys, Chad and Eric. Oh, so it was big names. It was a little names. Yeah. So a lot of dudes in there. There was also some manufacturers in there. And um, and included in that was um, the president of RAN CLP, who we've had here on the show. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what episode that is. I could probably ask Lola. Lola, can you see what episode um, Chris from RAN CLP was on? So, you know, he was here on our show and we talked to him. And if you guys want to go see a conversation that we had with him for two hours and evaluate whether or not you think he's a gun guy or he believes in the Second Amendment, you are welcome to do that. The thing is, is that it, with, with all those people on one show, as you know, like you're, you're on this with us all the time, right? Yeah. And uh, I run my mouth. So just me and Walter being on here, we you're like, do. yeah. So it, it's tough for all three of us to talk at the same time. So I think if you have like 10 guys, not everyone's going to get to talk. I couldn't imagine. And, I, and, it, and as much as I like to comment sometimes, I don't always say what's on my mind all the time because it, sometimes it, it just, yeah. you know. Ola it, said it's episode 35 for anyone who wants to go back and look at it. Where, um, did, it's the Gun Collective. Do they have it hosted somewhere where you can watch it? Uh, yeah, it's on the Gun Collective's YouTube channel. Um, and, and I just think that any before people get mad, because there's oh, some people it. that are really mad, and I know Yankee Marshall has everyone up in arms and mad about the whole thing, um, and I think he's really upset with Chad and, and probably Chad and Eric over at Rock Veteran. I looked at that thing, and, you know, I don't I, – I understand what it is specifically wow. that he's not happy with Chad about. He's, he's like – he's got a whole fuck everybody video that he put up. <laughs> 
Yes, that's what we're talking about. Oh, <laughs> fucking Lord. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tony London wants to know if Walter's in Florida. Yes, he's in Florida. Show. Now nah, we're driving to Alaska yeah. tomorrow. So hang on. Yeah. <laughs> So one one of the things that um, one of the things that people don't realize about Yankee Marshall is he understands psychology and he knows how to troll you guys and how to. Oh, know. he's he's a major troll. That's the thing, and yeah. he enjoys it. He enjoys pissing people off, like he really does. Yeah. So that's the thing that everyone has to to um, come up with here. But if you look at the first of all, let's talk about Chad and Eric because I, I know those guys a little bit. You know. I, I've always I've met Eric once when he was still working at Moss Pond. This is mm -hmm. years ago, and I liked him. He and I stood at the gun counter for like, God, I don't thirty minutes, forty five minutes, just shooting the shit. He was really cool. Yeah, both of them are good guys, from yeah. what I know, and from what I know of them, um, you know, and they really believe in the Second Amendment. They really believe in this shit. They're doing, you know, they're working really hard and putting a lot of things out there for people, and I think that it's. You know, there's certain aspects of things that you can argue about, and maybe you can take shots at them because they're right now sitting on the throne. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you know, there's lots of different YouTube channels, and they're not necessarily the biggest. I don't think they're as big as FPS Russia, but those guys are probably approaching 3 million subscribers right now. So people who actually make gun videos and bring you information and put their lives at risk to actually show you things about guns, that would be what Iraq veteran is, okay? We, you you guys have probably all watched Eric burn down guns and things like that. Oh, yeah. He, he's risking his life, and he's spending money that he doesn't have to. Dangerous and, shit to blow up a gun in your face. Right, and then you guys are going to get mad because of something that you see in a conversation where they can't fully express exactly what they're trying to bring across to you. And because, like, Yankee Marshall says that, and I don't know how many times you've seen Yankee Marshall shoot anything. So... Just, I, I just think that people should think about that a little bit before they start like attacking people who have really gone out of their way to do so things. The, for the, the thing that I, I've community. noticed with Eric, and I, again, I think Eric is a great. From what I've when I've met him, he's a great guy. Um, he's just not the most eloquently spoken person, um, and that's just the way it is. Um, I think some people get that impression, but he's incredibly intelligent. Oh, I'm not saying he's dumb. Yeah. I, I'm just saying that, yeah. and I well, do the same thing where I words. Well, so here's what, here's what happened from my perspective, and I'm telling you guys, I'm really encouraging you to actually look at the Gun Collective video I'm gonna, and draw, yeah. and draw I'm, your own conclusion. But here's what happened from from the way that I saw it. Right, they there was a um, there was a what if scenario, and Chad was saying, well, you know, if these people wanted to come in and 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 do something and they said that they were willing to give us like reciprocity like if there was like, this was like a private thing and we think that they would give us reciprocity and all they wanted in return was just to ban these slide fire stocks that he would be in agreement of that and eric was doing exactly what walter's doing in the background and eric <laughs> was like nope hell no and, and they were sitting right next to each other yeah. so eric said nope no i wouldn't Hell no, I'm not going to do that. And Eric kept saying that. And uh, and then sh to end it, Chad said, but the thing is, is that they're not going to do that. They don't want to just ban this one little thing. They want to ban other things. So I think that the problem there, and I understand where people are coming from, is that we, 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 we there is no compromise position here. There is no room. There's no space. <laughs> For any kind of compromise, as far as I'm concerned, probably as far as far as everyone else here is concerned, there's no room for that, and I'm just not willing to, you know, I'm not budging from that. So, okay, you know, a lot of uh, I'm not gonna say a lot of these people are not very old. Mm -hmm. They haven't seen some of this monkey business before. <laughs> people from and the our and own it's the same it's the same people the pulling box. the same shit yeah pulled the shit 30 years ago yeah they don't compromise they're not going to give you anything you're not going to trade they don't want to trade anything they want to take and i don't want no fucking reciprocity if i got to give up anything <laughs> reciprocity is a pipe dream sorry it's not going to happen i I, I agree with you. I, it, Ruger, so Ruger almost went under because I think I think reciprocity is not going to happen. I think um, suppressors it's coming not, off the NFA isn't going to happen. It's not going to get done in Washington. The states aren't. Some of these states aren't going to go for it. Period. California and New York won't. Period. They're not going to go for it. So stop 
this dream of trading this pit for that. You're not going to get nothing. All, All they right. want is this. You know, they want this, and they want your pocket knife. They want a PPSH 43? That's a shorty, baby. That's what everybody wants is a PPSH yeah. uh, full off. Oh, so, everybody should yeah. have a couple of these. Okay, okay, boys. <laughs> let's focus on this. You know, I, I think I agree with you. Obviously, the, these, the politicians on the other side, they, they don't want to negotiate with us. They want total surrender. And I'll be honest with you, politicians on – on the Republican side, also want to to give up. Uh, they also want you gun control. Hold, you gotta you gotta hold the Republicans by their balls and twist. That's what you gotta do. You can't play nice with them. You can't you can't sweet talk them. You gotta you say, look, buddy, you don't get on our side. You're getting no fucking money to get reelected. And just okay. like that. get so, on the boat or get the fuck off. You know. Right. And the Repub and the Democrats aren't in charge. Well, who are they? To who are you to? Well, that's that's but that's what's evident of what I'm trying to say to you that Republicans are the ones who are holding things not, up right now. This is not some business deal where you're going to trade your your five hours of internet time for ten hours of uh, some prostitute or something. You know, you're not going. Nobody's going to. There's nothing to gain by dealing with these people. So, you know, it, uh, so okay, so Chad. Chad was saying deal with them. Eric was saying don't deal with them. What no, was no, no. Chad was not saying deal with them. He had a hypo – see, these guys are having a hypothetical conversation. And the thing that I'm saying to you, I think one of the problems here is we can – like if we have – like maybe they forgot that they were live. Maybe they will forgot that they were going on the record. Okay, but they, but they should be aware of the fact that they're projecting – these statements out there to the world and a snippet of that can 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 be taken out of context very easily so, and, and they were having a hypothetical conversation and he was trying to say that if privately these people would come and say well all we want is to t is to take this slide fire stock off the table and what we'll give you guys is reciprocity that he might entertain that thought however he said, if you listen to the whole thing till the end, he said, however, he knows that that's not what they want. That's what okay, I'm trying so, to say to you. So what did, where does Yankee Marshall come in? What was his, why is he so irate? <laughs> because, because, you know, um, being irate and saying, <laughs> and saying, fuck this person and fuck yeah. that person. That's how you get a whole bunch of views. That's his, that's, that's his shtick. I understand yeah, that. But does and, he have and, any point mixed in there? I think he has half of a point mixed in there. Absolutely, <laughs> right? Because because we're all on the side of no, we're not going to compromise. Well, when you get on when you get on when you get on a, a public forum and you say, well, you know, well, that's just opening the door to people saying just like just like happened to somebody else we know, um, <clears throat> forty five. Um, and right. next thing you know, next thing you know, you're on network TV saying the gun guys they want they want they're they're willing to compromise. You know. Yes, exactly. That's what I think we have to be careful of. And that's where Yankee Marshall does have a point that we have to be careful what we get out there and say. And the truth of the matter is, is that there, like, there, there's no law, there's no bill, there's nothing that we could do to stop human beings from murdering other human beings. Yeah, and that's all, you know, that's that's never yeah. going to change. But, yeah. you know. So, um, Jay Derek, Jay, hold, hold on one second. Yeah. So, Jay Derek Williams just gave us five bucks. He yeah. says... They say they banned Yankee for using profanity in chat. Really? I have seen his videos and live chats uh, laugh out loud. So I know that they didn't. Um, I think one of the other things he was saying is they didn't take any questions from like the audience. Yankee was in the audience. He was asking stuff. He's mad because he didn't get a seat at the table. Um, I mean, I mean, you know, that's. Look, that's a, that's a one thing that happens a lot, right? Like people like, maybe well, how come this person wasn't there? This person because maybe you're just not cool with these particular people that did this thing. I get it. That's you know that, what I mean. That's their, that's their party. You're not invited. Sorry. Yeah, get over it. You have to get over that. But he, but I guess he had a bunch of people who were over there and they were asking questions. And the way that they approached it with dealing with these guys maybe was rough, and maybe you know these guys didn't like that, and so they didn't take any of those questions. Maybe. Well. Maybe. One of the things is like, why are we treating each other as the enemy when we're not? Well, because of egos. Yeah, so we have to be careful with that. If these guys are doing their thing and they're having their conversation, that's fine. You know, and we want to ask questions. If you go in there, you have to try to like go in there respectfully. I didn't see the chat. I don't know what people were saying or what they were asking. But even if you were being respectful and they didn't want to bring up your comments and all that, I don't. You know, I mean, what can that's you do? Well. Yeah, you don't have to listen to them. They're just people who are doing this thing. If you want to get your voice heard, you can. There's other ways you can go out there and get your voice heard. You know, um, 
Yeah. I, I think, um, in, in my opinion, I think that, um, there, yes, there's truth to this, that we have to be careful what we say out there because very easily the things that we say could be turned back around on us and used to speak for us. And if something gets out there in the news media, like Walter is saying, and someone just takes a sound bite and that sound bite goes up, yep. I don't care, you know, there's no one in the gun community whose channel is big enough to reverse a sound bite that goes up on CNN. And then, 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 yeah. then you got these, uh, you know, you got the uh, the ones at home going. Well, that gun guy thinks it's okay. Well, then it just must be all right. Then, you know, he must, you know, he's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's hug a tree, kiss a squirrel. Yes. Yeah. Also, yeah. the thing is, is you cannot negotiate publicly with anyone. Well, you any know, negotiations you make publicly, anything that you say you're willing to give up publicly, just. That's that's a given now. So when you actually go into a ne negotiating room, you have no, you have you're no. screwed. Just those things. That's not where they're starting. They're like, oh, we know this is what you're already ready to get uh, willing to give up, and here's what we want on top of that. Yeah, that's yeah. how negotiations go. So all this stuff where people think they're somehow super smart and they can outthink and play 3D level chess and do all this kind of stuff. That's kind of silly. And that's where I do agree with Yankee Marshall. The problem is, is that these guys were talking about that. You know, they were talking about the NRA and they said that the NRA messed up and all that kind of stuff. Well, yeah. Um, you know, and that we have to do something about it. That's not so, hard to figure out that the NRA messed up. Um, yeah. But there it's, are people, there are people, and I met some over the, I met one in particular over the weekend, and I mentioned to you, Hank, before, who thought that that was a wonderful thing that the NRA did and yada, yada, yada. You know how that conversation goes. Mm -hmm. you know, if if you apologize and play nice, that you're you, you know everything will go away. You know it's like no. Yeah. So um, Bius Fail uh, Fallis, I think, says um, Tym was uh, I, the Yankee Marshal was blocked when he was asking legitimate questions. Come on, he's not that bad. Only swore twice. He's not <laughs> upset for being in the chat. I mean, I don't care if anyone swears. By the way, we we curse openly. <laughs> I, I understand. Last night we talked about uh, the dueling dicks of Spike Tacticals. <laughs> yeah, you know. So I don't know. I I don't listen. In case you guys don't know this, so let's talk about something that's real. Um, in case you guys don't know this, now you're fine. That what's breaking a lot of people's hearts right now, and this is probably uh, you know. A, different conversation but what's breaking everyone's hearts right now is that you are starting to find out that all the people in the gun community don't get along welcome to the fucking terror dome <laughs> what, what what community out there let me ask you, what community out there where every is it that everybody gets along for real oh, exactly yeah this is a human being problem all get along with that but it went but but when it comes time to to make a public thing they all they all pony up next to each other and play good yeah um, well that's the thing. This is what happens with people. And a, another thing that happens, and I think it's a point Yankee Marshall was making. I did watch his video, um, his fuck everybody video. So I did watch that. Um, there were parts of it that made me laugh. I did too, actually. So Yeah. So, um, you know, and there are parts of it that I agree with. And I think one of the things that he's saying is that, like, look, we do all want unity, right? We got to kind of figure out how to have one message because ultimately what we want is not to lose any more of our Second Amendment rights. And we want the ones that we lost back. Right. So that's what we ultimately want. The problem, though, with unity is who the fuck is in charge of this unity? Right. Well. Right. So that's that's the problem here. Like when you have like when you say unity, which means like, OK, everyone has to get in line and march behind this message or this person. The problem that met the, the problem that you get with that is you get all kinds of rankings. Right. And then you have to figure out, like, who's on top, who's the boss of this, who's the leader and what are they saying? And then we all get behind them and then everyone marches in step with that. And I think that that's a problem because that's awesome for whoever's on top and whoever's calling the marching orders. But if I'm on the bottom and I have a different voice and I want to say what I have to say, if we're playing the unity game, I'm effectively silenced, right? That's why there's the GOA, there's the NRA, there's the Jewish guys for guns, there's the black guys for guns, there's the, there's always- oh, I'm gonna join. There's always different- You're gonna join the, no, they probably, they're not gonna allow you in. What, the black guys for guns? You, you gotta- You gotta- Oh, really? 
<laughs> you have to have the ability Wait, to tan first. 